ancient India revered animals as source of food, nutrition and prosperity. During Middle Ages, great and visionary empires appreciated livestock as potential economic enterprise. Efforts to protect and promote animal wealth gained momentum. Advent of modern era infused new vigor and energy. Scientific practices pervaded deep into the livestock health and management systems. Country witnessed a transformation. State-of-art animal farms evolved across the country. Small farmers adopted livestock as an additional source of income and insurance against crop failures. Today, the grand legacy of livestock continues with the dynamism and vibrancy. The success saga owes much of its glitter to a national scientific research institute which stands tall among many stakeholders. The esteemed Indian Veterinary Research Institute IVRI with a headquarter at Izzat Nagar Bareli is the leader and driver of transformation that pushed livestock sector to new heights. Livestock sector is contributing more than 25% of the agriculture GDP and nearly 4% of the national GDP. India has earned remarkable distinction of being largest milk producer in the world while ranking 4th in egg and 5th in broiler production. Improved animal health systems played a major role in the distinctive progress by combating diseases that have caused economic losses. The 125 years of glorious journey of IVRI is replete with instances when it rose to occasion by developing precise disease diagnostics and potent vaccines for controlling disease outbreaks. In fact, IVRI came into existence primarily to meet this objective only. Acting on the recommendation of the Indian Cattle Plague Commission, British government established Imperial Bacteriological Laboratory on 9th of December 1889 at Pune, Maharashtra. Over the years, this modest laboratory developed as one of the best and the largest institutions of the world in veterinary research and education, the IVRI. During nascent stages, its founder director Dr. Alfred Lingard and his successor Lieutenant Colonel J.D.E. Holmes made seminal contributions to develop it as a world-class facility. The laboratory caught international attention when world-renowned bacteriologist Dr. Robert Koch had a study visit in 1897. Meanwhile, the laboratory was relocated in Mukteshwar in 1893 primarily for biosafety reasons. Production of first batch of very effective anti-rinderpest serum was the first milestone it crossed in 1899. The demand for serum grew manifold that necessitated its strengthening and expansion. Hence, the sprawling Izzat Nagar campus was established in 1913 at Bareli, Uttar Pradesh with 21 well-equipped research divisions. Since then, IVRI has never looked back. The activities where IVRI scientists are concentrating is basically how to increase the animal productivity and ensuring animal health. The scientists of this institute, they are working with a vision of harnessing veterinary and animal science research and education for sustainable growth in the livestock sector so as to ensure food and income security. To address its mandate, vision and mission, IVRI conducts basic, applied and strategic research through three campuses at Izzatnagar, Mukteshwar, Bengaluru and three regional stations at Palampur, Kolkata and Pune. The Palampur Regional Station was established to cater the research needs in livestock rearing in northwest humid Himalayan region of the country. The Kolkata Regional Station undertakes systematic epidemiological survey and research on zoonotic and other animal diseases of importance in the region. The new IVRI Center, established recently at Pune, imparts training and undertakes education and extension activities. In its quest to conquer livestock diseases, IVRI played a critical role in achieving zero rinderpest status for the country. To commemorate the remarkable success, a memorial pillar stands with proud at Mukteshwar campus.
the place from where battle against the dreaded disease began. Moving further, research outcomes of IVRI research also helped eradication of diseases like Doreen, African horse sickness and contagious bovine pleuropneumonia. Committed and concerted efforts at Mukteshwar campus led to development of PPR and goat box vaccines and diagnostics. Countrywide diagnostics and vaccination for PPR significantly reduced its incidence. Equally effective indigenous diagnostics and vaccines have saved huge amount of foreign exchange for the country by replacing the imported kits. The institute has also developed OIE prescribed diagnostics for major listed diseases. Basic and applied research at Bengaluru campus played a key role in effective control of the damaging foot and mouth disease FMD. Through a novel approach for developing the potent vaccine, the dose could be reduced from 10 ml to just 2 ml. Commercial production backed by marketing led to wide-scale use of vaccine across the country. As always, IVRI came forward to tackle menace of recently emerged leptospirosis in domestic animals. Backed by strategic research, a cost-effective and rapid latex agglutination test for on-the-spot diagnosis was developed. Portability, long shelf life and simplicity to perform and interpret test results make it ideal for resource poor settings, especially for small farmers. A Center for Animal Disease Research and Diagnosis, a section of wildlife conservation, management and disease surveillance and a national biotechnology center also act as specialized wings to address specific issues. During the eventful journey of 125 years, the institute has developed more than 50 life-saving vaccines for major livestock and poultry diseases. Cost-effective indigenous production of vaccines pushed up their entry in preventive animal health care system, bringing a big reprieve to small farmers and entrepreneurs alike. In pursuit of its commitment to make countries self-reliant in veterinary medicine, IVRI developed more than 60 immunobiologicals for quick, sensitive and specific diagnosis of economically important livestock diseases. In order to further improve the efficacy and sensitivity, biotechnological tools are being employed to develop better vaccines and immune biologicals. IVRI is exploring genetic route to improve the resistance of livestock against major diseases by identifying DNA markers associated with disease resistance or susceptibility. As a part of preparedness, IVRI has developed a modern system of regular surveillance, creation of data bank and forecasting to keep a tab on prevalence and emergency of major livestock diseases. Herbal drugs for livestock diseases is the new age mantra in animal healthcare. Herbal ointment, all in all, is a popular remedy enjoying good market. Striving for enhancement of overall livestock productivity, IVRI develops several cost-effective feed formulations and strategic supplements for better nutrient utilization. Tree leaves-based rations were developed for animal feeding after critical evaluation and ranking of tree forages. Development of high-yielding crossbred cattle strain Vrindavani and nucleus herd of Murra buffaloes are other notable achievements to enhance livestock productivity. As an innovative step, conservation and multiplication of Sahival cow has been taken up through farmers and Gaushala participatory approach. The elite breed has been introduced in the villages and semen is made available for grading up the nondescript cattle. Apprehending the imminent danger of climate change quite early, the institute acted proactively by initiating and strengthening related research. Strategies have been developed to tackle prospective scenario of animal diseases, livestock adaptation and mitigation technologies. Over the 125 years of journey, the Institute has widened its scope of research in demand-driven mode covering frontier areas and cutting-edge technologies. Currently, around 200 research projects are being addressed which include international and consultancy assignments. IVRI realized the need and importance of capacity building way back in 1900 
and initiated education and training programs for field veterinarians. Besides, the institute is the seat of two centers of advanced faculty training in the country. To further the cause of veterinary education, regular postgraduate, doctoral and postdoctoral programs began in 1958. The unique environment of the campus with all modern facilities, high quality and expertise attracted students and scholars from various countries. A milestone was crossed when University Grants Commission conferred deemed university status to IVRI in 1983 and now it is acclaimed as seat of higher learning. The endeavor for excellence continued making it a globally acknowledged temple of veterinary sciences. Now post-independence IVRI has awarded degrees which are about 100 plus for MSCs, 900 plus for PhDs and 1800 plus for MBSCs. Now these students which come out of IVRI after completing their postgraduate or doctorate research, they have been working in various state animal husbandry departments, various state agriculture and veterinary universities, central universities, private and public sector organizations, and a large chunk of students, they also go abroad for pursuing further research. system catering the information and input needs of farmers, livestock owners and entrepreneurs. The dedicated helpline service of the institute offering technical advice to farmers and livestock owners is a hit across the country. Equipped with knowledge, expertise and skills, IVRI has emerged as a major consultancy hub of national repute in livestock and animal health sector. IVRI has done pioneering research in the field of veterinary surgery resulting in effective and user-friendly surgical techniques and stem cell therapy in animals. It offers a wide range of services, national referral diagnostic services for major diseases, referral laboratory services for quality assessment of animal feeds, testing services for quality and safety of immunobiologicals and type cultures scientific and technical services to Bureau of Indian Standards for standardization of products and services in livestock sector, National Referral Center for Wildlife Healthcare, 